fourth or fifth gear, the steering wheel's all over and the front end is all over too. That can easily be fixed. So come on inside the shop with me. In this video, we'll go step by step through the process to fix the steering on your tractor. We're ready to begin to disassemble the tractor. So we need to take the hood as well as that front nose piece off. So we'll take the muffler off here. There we go. We set it down. We also need to take the radiator cap off and the air breather right there. Okay. Then there's four bolts, two on the side, two on the other, which we'll take off as well that hold the front nose piece on. Already got my other three off, so it'll come off quickly for you. And then also there's clips underneath the hood here, which I've got mine released. Then we'll lift the hood off and then the front nose piece will come off as well. I'm taking the bolt out of this universal joint here so that it will pull apart. Our goal is to get this shaft out the front of the tractor. So I got that loose. I'm just gonna pull it with my fingers the rest of the way. Here's my nut. Okay, now I'm going to take a brass hammer and try to beat that the rest of the way past the shaft. I see it moving a little bit. Looks like it's really close. So now I'm gonna go down to the front of the tractor and we'll work on that bearing. So come around with me. I'm pulling this cotter pin out. Yours will have one as well that you'll need to pull out. Then my worm gear on the end will come out with the bearing and the shaft. It's gonna all come out as one assembly. This is a one and one eighth socket that I'm going to turn around here and you can see that it's all coming out. Look at that. We'll worry about getting the nut off of the shaft at the end. Let's see if we can just... I'm using a brass bar with a brass hammer to tap this out the rest of the way so that we don't do any damage to the end of it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna step around to the front and hopefully I'll be able to pull it out the rest of the way. There we go. Just like that. Going to remove this cotter pin, pull that out of there. There we go. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, cutter pins out. And then we're going to use a socket on the end there to pull this gear up or this nut up. Okay. You can see that in this tractor we have the just a half moon style gear, which is original to the tractor, which we came with. This is a 39M, so that's what it would come with originally. And we're going to replace that with a full circle gear there. Let's get this nut off the top. Probably go the rest of the way with my hands. Or not. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Thought it felt like it was off. Okay. There you go. Okay, we're ready to pull this gear out. Gonna use a pry bar to get underneath it and then pull it the rest of the way. Set that down. There we go. Okay. Now you can see on the side here all of that wear and that means it needs to be replaced there. So we'll set this down and then we'll be ready to put the new one in. The new gear is directional. Obviously you can see the lip down at the bottom so that goes down. Careful when you set it down not to pinch your fingers in there. Just like that. Our shaft here is worn as well as the bearing, so we're gonna get a new shaft and a new bearing. However, we are gonna reuse the nut, so I'm gonna take that off of here. Go a little bit more. And more yet. There we go. Okay, there's the nut, and now we'll put the new shaft together. I'm putting this bearing on. You can see that I'm using a socket to only touch the inside of the bearing. We don't want to touch or pound on the outside of the bearing because it can do damage. So we have to go a little bit more and there we go. Perfect. Okay. So you can see that it's down far enough and it moves freely. It looks good. Now I'm going to put the castle nut on. I'm going to start it with my fingers and then we'll tighten it up with the impact wrench. There. 
Let's go a little bit more. Okay, that seems good. Now we're going to uh, put your cotter pin in and then this whole shaft will be ready to go into the tractor. By replacing this gear, you're taking that wobble out of the front steering of your tractor. Okay, we're ready to feed the shaft into the tractor. And see, we gotta get it through that joint and then all the way up into the universal joint. It's gonna line up as I push it in through here. Is that good? Is it in the universal joint? Okay, like that. There we go. And it's flush there. Let's go a little bit. There we go. Okay, you can see where the bearing is in there. Now we're ready to uh, put our cotter pin in. So I'll put the cotter pin in here. Also, we still need to put the castle nut on up here and there's a cotter pin for that one as well. Just tightening up my cotter pin here and then we'll put the cover on it. I did get the cotter pin up top as well. So we'll put this cover on and then we'll put the cover on the top as well. Okay, I'm tightening my last bolt on the cover here. And we'll get really tight. Here we go. Okay, all of my bolts up top are here, up top are tight. Also, I got this nut in, so everything's set up here in front. Now let's go to the back and we'll talk about the universal joint. In the video up until this point, we've been using the original universal joint, which may work for you. However, we're trying to solve the steering problem and take out anything that's old and would cause that wobbling. So obviously the original universal joint would probably cause that. You can also see that this one has been welded around here and on this side as well. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. This is the new universal joint that, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna cut it off, take the steering wheel off and everything and replace that completely. You'll notice that my shaft is free from my universal. I cut it off. Also, I pulled the collar out so that the steering wheel can come right out. Notice that I do have a wet rag over top of the gas cap. That's to prevent any accidents while we're using the uh, reciprocating saw that may, pre may produce some sparks. Just a safety tip there. So now we're ready to pull the steering wheel out and then we'll drill it for the new universal. Our universal joint is back on the tractor. So first we lined up both of these shafts with the universal joint in between and made a mark for where we wanted to drill our holes for both of the shafts. Then we took this shaft off that has a steering wheel on it and we drilled that hole on the vise. First we did a really narrow hole through there to get it level as a guide and then we did it again with a 3 8 inch drill bit to get the appropriate size hole for the shaft. Then we put it on the tractor and we put the pin in it and then we drilled this hole. This shaft is where that half moon uh, insert is that you'll see there. We still drilled the hole through there. Again, it's 3 8 inch and followed the same process. Then our universal joint is securely on the tractor here. Another thing that we did is we secured the collar up towards the top of the steering wheel with the Allen wrench. So everything's secure here and now we're ready to put the sheet metal back on the tractor and test the steering out again. difference huge difference I can't believe it those repairs were every single step was essential it played into the steering working properly on this tractor again 